What's up everybody? It's Boy Meme here. Uh, for breakfast, I, uh, my parents and I went to a, uh, this sort of diner, um, and that was pretty cool. For lunch, I had a sandwich at work, and that was kind of dinner, I guess. Um, I also brought home a sandwich from work because someone ordered a sandwich and then never went to pick it up, so I brought it home. Um, and I'm probably going to eat that after I upload this. Um, today's been very busy, um, not because of work, but because of my own accord. Um, something that I did was I set up this thing called uh, Blue Map last night uh, on my Minecraft server, and right now I use a plugin called Din Map, and uh, Din Map basically just makes a um, an interactable map, you know, and you could just like go around like it's Google Maps. But the cool thing about Blue Map is that um, it actually creates a 3D model of your entire world, and you're able to walk around. You're kind of floating at ground level. You're not really walking, but you're able to walk around. At, um, ground level um, in your Minecraft ba in like anywhere in the Minecraft world um, in your browser and it's it's super in your browser and it's really incredible um, so I started that last night and it was generating everything but the, you know there are some black chunks just everywhere around the map um, sort of just indiscriminately placed um, and turns out the reason why that was happening was because um, blue map as opposed to did map um, only renders things that are being touched by uh, ambient light. So, um, if something like has ambient light or sees ambient light, that's what's rendered in the 3D download. And this results in caves not being generated because of course that would be kind of bad because people could just look at ores, you know, ores in their web browser. Um, but, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so um, basically, um, if I had upgraded my map, which I have, it used to be 1.14, it's 1.19 now, um, as I've just upgraded over time, uh, something that can happen is the light levels sort of reset in certain areas, and if players haven't been there since it was last updated, um, the light levels can't really get fixed, right? So I got this thing called, um, I forgot what it was called, like a light cleaner or something. And the thing that it does is it goes through every single chunk on your whole server, and my maps are pretty big, so it goes through a lot, like, it takes a while, it's like only a, like a quarter way through right now, I have been running it for like six hours. Um, it goes through all of the chunks in your Minecraft world and it, um, sort of mm, rejuvenates them a bit, I suppose, it, it resets the, life lo uh, the light level. Um, so once I do that, I should be able to re-render uh, the blue map map and it should be fixed. Um, aside from that, oh yeah, so so after that, once I had set up the blue map thing, um, I was like, oh, well, while this is happening, you know, it's um, regenerating the light data. I might as well figure out how to do something I've been wanting to figure out for a while. Um, so right now, I have a domain for the Minecraft server, and it's the domain colon 8123 for the DIN map. To access the map, you do colon 8123 at the end of the domain. That looks very ugly. Um, if you're not very technical, you don't interact with many ports, you know, on a, on a domain, that's kind of strange. So I wanted it to be map.domain, you know, map.soandso.com or .net or .xyz or whatever. Um, and uh, I was like, oh, if I always wanted to do this, I'm going to figure it out. And uh, the thing that you need is a reverse proxy server. And, uh, you know, I, I've been trying to figure them out. Um, theoretically, they should be really easy to set up, um, but, okay, here, here's the way it works. So, okay, I'm not, I'm not actually entirely sure how it works, but I know that I would buy a server, and I bought a server now, um, and I would open up Nginx, and I would replace the configuration file for Nginx, and then I would point my DNS from the domain provider to the Nginx server that I bought, you know, and then that Nginx server will point to my Minecraft server. Um, and the reason why there's a proxy there is because that proxy is what holds the HTTPS data, you know, that makes it encrypted. And that um, proxy is what holds the sort of, um, uh, what? That proxy is what holds the map dot subdomain, right? So um, that's sort of what the plan was. Um, but now everything's kind of weird. Uh, I tried figuring it out. Turns out Nginx was just having this issue that was inherent to the Nginx installation on Debian 10. Um, 
And so I was trying to figure that out. And once I had figured it out, it worked once, but then I changed something and it stopped working. So I changed it back and it was, it still wasn't working. So there's like a weird sense of permanence on everything that Nginx does. And I'm not entirely sure what's behind that. You know, maybe I think it might have its own user or something. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and yeah, silly stuff is silly guys, you know? Maybe I, maybe it's kind of weird having a Minecraft server that zero people play on, but um, you know, it's a cool hobby project to find. People go on it sometimes. Uh, so yeah. All right. Uh, see you, dude.